our digestive system and the respiratory system. The human body is made up of different organs and organ systems which work in coordination to keep us healthy and function systematically. In the next page, here are the different organ systems of the human body. In this chapter, we will read and learn about digestive and respiratory system. Major organ systems. Look at the seven organ systems that work in our body to keep us healthy and fit. The skeletal system gives shape and supports the body. The muscular system makes it possible for the body to move. The digestive system helps in digesting the food. The respiratory system is a part of how we breathe. Blood gets to every part of the body through the circulatory system. The body's waste is taken out by the excretory system. The nervous system is in charge of everything the body does. The digestive system. We all eat different foods to live and grow. The food that we eat contains different types of nutrients like roughage and water. However, in order to use the energy and nutrients present in the food, it needs to be broken down into simpler substances. The process by which food is broken down into simpler substances which can be absorbed by the body to give us energy is called digestion. The process of digestion passes through the following organs of the digestive system. Mouth. The process of digestion of our food starts in the mouth. The teeth bite, chew and grind the food. This food mixes with saliva, a digestive liquid secreted by the salivary glands. Saliva breaks the starch of the food into simple sugar. It also makes the food soft. Food pipe. The soft food leaves the mouth and through the food pipe reaches the stomach. The stomach is a large sac-like organ. Here, the food is churned and mixed with digestive juices. The digestive juices in the stomach break down the food into simple and soluble forms. From the stomach, the food moves into the small intestine. The liver secretes a digestive juice called bile that helps to digest fats in the small intestine. Pancreas play a vital role in digestion. It is located inside your abdomen, just behind your stomach. During digestion, pancreas makes pancreatic juice called enzymes. These enzymes break down sugars, fats and starches. Small intestine. It is the longest part of the digestive system. It is like a coiled tube. From the stomach, the food passes into the small intestine. Juices from the walls of the small intestine, the liver and the pancreas help to completely digest the food. The process of digestion is completed here. The blood vessels in the wall of the small intestine absorb the digested food and carry it to all parts of the body. Large intestine. The undigested food passes into the large intestine. Here, minerals and extra water are absorbed by the blood vessels present in the walls of the large intestine. The semi-solid waste called faces is passed out through the anus when we go to the toilet. Tips for proper digestion. Take your meals at fixed intervals and eat at the same time every day. Chew your food well before swallowing it. Include plenty of green vegetables and fruits. Avoid overeating. Consume 8 to 10 glasses of water throughout the day. Stay away from junk foods like chips, pizza, french fries and cakes. They contain a lot of fat and sugar, which is not good for your health. Our teeth. Teeth are the most essential part of the digestive system. They are present on the jaws, upper jaw and lower jaw. We bite and chew our food with our teeth. Human beings have two sets of teeth, temporary teeth and permanent teeth. A newborn baby does not have any teeth. The first tooth appears 
when the child turns six months of age. By the age of three years, a baby has a set of 20 teeth. The first set of teeth in a child are called temporary teeth or milk teeth. When the child is around six years of age, the milk teeth begins to fall off one by one and new teeth grow in their place. They are bigger than milk teeth and are called permanent teeth. These are 32 in number, 16 in the upper jaw and 16 in the lower jaw. If we look after them well, these teeth should last a lifetime. Kinds of teeth We have four kinds of permanent teeth. Incisors, canines, premolars and molars. The incisors These are chisel shaped teeth at the front of the mouth. An adult has eight incisors, four in the upper jaw, four in the lower jaw. Incisors are used for biting and cutting. The canines these are pointed teeth and lie right next to the incisors in both the jaws. An adult has four canines, two in the upper jaw and two in the lower jaw. Canines are used for tearing and ripping food. Premolars The flat and broad teeth next to the canines are called premolars. There are eight premolars, four in each jaw. Premolars are used to crack, crush and chew food. Molars they are bigger and broader than premolars. They are next to premolars. They are 12 in number, 6 in upper jaw, 6 in lower jaw. They are used for grinding and chewing food. The third pair of molars are called as wisdom teeth. Structure of a tooth A tooth is made up of two main parts. The crown. The crown is top of the part of the tooth. It is seen above the gum. The root. The root is a lower part of the tooth. It cannot be seen as it is inside the gum. It holds the tooth firmly in the place. The crown of every tooth has three layers. Enamel The enamel is a thin white covering of the tooth. It protects the teeth from the wear and tear of chewing. Dentine The dentine is yellow bone-like layer that is found below the enamel. It is softer than enamel. It supports the enamel. Pulp The pulp is a central part of the tooth. It is soft and it contains blood vessel and nerves. The nutrients reach the tooth through these blood vessels. Taking care of teeth If we take care of our teeth, we can save them from decay. When you eat any food, small bits of food can get stuck between your teeth. Bits of food Sticking to the teeth can cause the growth of bacteria, which will first attack the enamel and form a sticky yellow coating called plaque. Then they attack the dentine and finally the pulp. When the plaque reaches the nerves in the pulp, it causes pain. Tooth decay results in bad breath, cavities, toothaches, bleeding gums and indigestion. Foods like milk, cheese, other foods containing calcium and vitamin C are important for healthy teeth and gums. To keep your teeth healthy and free from decay, you must follow the following good habits. Brush your teeth every morning and before going to bed. Make sure that your brush moves as shown in the below figure. Do not eat too many sweets and chocolates. Wash your mouth after each meal. Use floss to clean between the teeth. Schedule regular checkups with your dentist the respiratory system to digest our food and to get energy our body needs oxygen we get oxygen from the air we breathe our nose windpipe and two lungs are the organs that help us to breathe these three organs make our respiratory system in our body the nose and the windpipe air enters our body through the nose Air contains dust and bacteria. To filter them, there is mucus and short hair in our nose. The filtered air enters the windpipe. There are two tubes at the end of the windpipe. The left tube goes into the left lung while the right tube goes into the right lung. Lungs The lungs are the respiratory system's major organs. They are inside the ribs and are soft and spongy. The ribcage shields the lungs from harm. 
blood vessels blood and tiny air sacs together form the lungs when we breathe in through our nose the air enters our lungs and travels to the tiny air sacs the air sacs allow oxygen to enter the blood arteries the blood carries the oxygen throughout the body carbon dioxide is formed when the body uses oxygen to break down food for energy this carbon dioxide is carried back to the lungs by the blood vessels let's sum up the organ system that helps in digestion is called digestive system the organs of the digestive system are the mouth food pipe stomach small intestine liver pancreas and large intestine the first set of teeth in children are called as milk teeth an adult has 32 teeth we have four kinds of teeth incisors canines premolars and molars a tooth has three layers enamel dentin and pulp the organ system that helps in respiration is called the respiratory system The respiratory system consists of the nose, windpipe and lungs.